Hey guys, how's it going? Jolster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video right here at Jolster. So this time I am playing the Division 2 and goddamn guys, this game is so much fun. There is so much to do in this game. It's just beautiful. If you like the first one, you're going to love this one because I just feel like the they improve a lot of things in this game. I mean, there's so many places, there's so many uh, things to do, there's so many places to go in this game. It's just awesome. I just love the way it feels, I just love the way it plays. Uh, there's like so many things to find, so many things to collect. And, and, and it just also looks beautiful right here. I'm playing on the Samsung Q7FN. This is a 4K HDR Quantum Dot TV from 2018. And still, this TV looks beautiful. So if you are planning on buying this game and you have one of these Samsung TVs, either the, the Q6 or Q7, Q8, Q9, even the NU8000, that TV, it works as long as you have the 55 inch version because that's, those are the ones, the models that have the 120 uh, Hertz panel. So that's the one that works beautiful with this, this the, the settings that I'm gonna show you. So. I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, this game runs beautiful at 4K and it also has 30 frames per second locked, which is nice. You know, I, it's it's not bad at 30 frames per second. But if you're coming from a game or you're used to playing 60 frames per second and then you go back to uh, 30 frames per second, you will definitely notice the difference, especially when you're panning the camera. You know, when you're moving around like this and you're just in... When you're walking, you, you notice the difference right away. So I'm going to show you some of my personal settings that I'm using right here in this video. So let me go real quick. Uh, go into source. So I have the Xbox One. So right here, I have 3840, 2160, HDR, UHD. I don't, I'm not using FreeSync because I'm using Game Motion Plus or game motion interpolation. It's a combination of game mode and motion interpolation. So let me just show you real quick. We're gonna go through the settings as fast as I can, guys. All right, so first we're gonna show you the picture settings that I'm using. So I have my backlight all the way up, brightness, contrast, sharpness, color. I increase the color to 30. Uh, sometimes I, I, I leave it at 25, but this time I increase it just a little bit, give a little extra punch on the colors. The local dimming is on high, contrast enhancer, I have this one on low, warm color tone, okay? And color space is in auto. So these are my per personal settings, you guys are welcome to try them, but as I always say, try the ones that work best for you, okay? So let's go, let's go to general, and then let's go into internal device manager. This is where you get access to game mode settings, and also you turn on your UHD colors. So for example, this one is turn off, I'm just gonna turn it on just in case if I ever use that. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use it someday. And then over here, oh, just in case if you're new to this and you're trying to see, figure out how to change this menu from white to black, go to, I think it's uh, device connect, what was this? Game, I don't think it's here. <laughs> you have to go to uh, accessibility, yeah. You notice this one, it says high contrast. This is where you turn it on, all right? So just press this high contrast and your menus will turn black. That's pretty good. I like that a lot better than the white bright one. So let's go back to external device manager, all right? Game mode settings, and then game mode is on. In order for you to turn your game motion plus settings on, you have to turn off free sync. And sometimes they still grayed out, so make sure your game mode is turn into on instead of auto, just put it into on, it doesn't matter, all right? So over here, Game Motion Plus, I turn this one on, and then I have my blur reduction up to 10, and my jitter reduction up down to five. So the reason I use this is because otherwise, if I, if I have everything to 10, you get a lot of ghosting. You'll see it right away. You can either choose five, or maybe you're gonna choose four or three, but I think five and 10, it works great. Uh, it just works great for me. You know, you're welcome to try it. These are my own personal settings. And trust me, it looks beautiful and it plays so much better. That's, you know, that's my experience that I'm getting right now. So let's get into some of this gameplay, guys. Let's do this.
All right, so we're gonna get into this group of hyenas, guys. And this this guy, this this group are just so annoying. All the purpose is just to destroy. Wherever they get a chance. So we're here to stop them, no matter what. Going to prepare this right here. See if I can go and get this guy because this is one of the mini bosses that I have. I remember I played this this mission in the beta. The beta was actually pretty uh, pretty long. It took me a while to beat it. It's a little bit hard. It's pretty awesome, man. I, I, I'm telling you guys, there's so many things to do in here. There's so much uh, gameplay and activities, and you, then you can join friends. You can even join uh, games with uh, random people. They ask for your help, and you can just like join them right away. It's so cool. I'm glad Ubisoft uh, listened to their, you know, to their community and just make this game so much better I, I i remember i said i was not going to buy it until like maybe it will go on sale or something but after i played the beta i was i was just like you know what i gotta get this game it's so good there's so many games out there right now it's just like it's crazy how uh It's crazy how many games there are out there and so many good games. Oh, so these guys are back here. Right away, I'm using the Minger. Let me just show you a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm using the Minger. Ambient light, which I think it looks amazing too. You know, a lot of people don't like that the fact that this this thing has like a oh shit, hold on. Oh shit! Oh man! Oh, this guy is gonna rape us! Get out of here, man! I know a lot of people don't like the fact that this Minger kid has a camera on top of the TV. But uh, honestly, it's probably like the one that works the best for me. Because you don't have to worry about, you know, losing uh, other features like HDR or... Or just other features that... I mean, I, I use everything. You know, I can even watch TV while using this kid. That's what I like about this. That's what I like about the, this Minger kit. It's not like 100% accurate, but man, for the most part, it works great. Holy. Jesus. Let's see if I can throw a grenade. Returning the favor, you know? Oh, she ran. She ran. Let's get this party started. This is the last guy, I believe. Smokes, he almost killed me. Search for That's survivors. it. They may be hiding. That's it. We got this, guys. We got this. Thank God. We'll stay here until it's safe. 
Then head to the theater. Oh, there's some more people coming. God damn it. I think there are. All right, guys. So I'm going to finish the video right here, right now. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Jolster out.